Mona, let's have a quick look at their lineup. Akeem Bernard has six clean sheets. He starts with them in gold. Stefan Johnson, Dante Peralta, Carlton Brown, Alex Suazo, Javed Wallace, Romarian Thomas, Rabino Gordon, Denzel McKenzie, Demario Harris, and Marlon Cunningham. They are coached by Craig Butler, and they line up in the Domino Five, as he calls it. It's really hard to explain. We'll try to pinpoint it as the match goes on. Two captains here, Akeem Bernard for Mona and Dominic Grant for Jonathan Grant. They have their time in conference with the referee. Here's a quick look at the Jonathan Grant lineup. Goalkeeper Sheldon York. They have a back four of Dominic Grant, Brian Williams, Raheem Smith, and Tafari Williams. Four in the middle, Patrick Parks, Antoine Ellis, the man to watch, Rashar Williams, Ian Dennis, and the two strikers, Lawrence Barrett and Demario Morrison, their coach by Camille Wolf. O'Hara Headley got things going. And in that melee there, there was a shot from Harris that had to be blocked and Peralta also trying. Ramarin Thomas came forward on quite a few occasions that flashed wide of the upright and that was an omen of things to come from that number eight Romarian Thomas had three assists on the afternoon easily handled by the goalkeeper that free kick from Jonathan Grant but this is where the game would open for Mona foul from Dominic Grant on Romarian Thomas and Rabino Gordon converted easily from 12 yards added to his goal tally for the season Rabino Gordon 13 goals this season Peralta would also have a shot that flashed wide Dante Peralta darting in the area and another shot from Harris was saved expertly by the keeper Romarin Thomas would advance again and Parks bringing him down just after Parks had received a yellow card. Mercy was shown by the officially not handing him another card that would have sent him off. But there was no mercy from that kick. The goalkeeper, Kim Bernard, raw power. Not much of placement. Stevie York could do nothing against that one. Denzel McKenzie stepped forward and fired from the free kick. Stephen Young really should have done better. A weak palm to that one. Denzel McKenzie getting another goal. Eight at that time for the season. From Aaron Thomas sent this delightful ball in. And a cool finish first time from Denzel McKenzie. His second on the afternoon. Nine goals along with eight, 18 assists for the number 10. The national under 17 representative for Mona, Denzel McKenzie. Well, they weren't out of it, not in spirit. Antoine Ellis converting the player to watch for Jonathan Grant, getting one back. Destroying the clean sheet of Mona. And that was a cool finish from the number seven, the player to watch, showing why he was given that designation. It would have been hard to come back, certainly. And I'm sure that was the intention. A penalty given on this occasion as a Parks hand the ball just inside the area Peralta st step forward and a double save of sorts from Sheldon York the undoing of Mona and Peralta as he tried to get on the score sheet but it wasn't the end of scoring this ball broke well Carlton Brown for all of his troubles last year showing that there is redemption and there is hope in another year Getting on the score sheet. Three for the season for Carlton Brown. The number five for Mona. And that was five on the afternoon for Mona. Akeem Bernard. Beating the line with that pass. Kishane Gordon, the substitute, came on. And converted Cooley in the 90th minute. 
and finishing the scoring on the day for Mona at the JC Ashenheim complex. Mona, six goals. 10-1 on aggregate and the advance to the quarterfinal. Here are the stats, 13 shots on target for Mona, 26 attempts, half of them on target. Two from two for Jonathan Grant. Eight fouls for Mona, nine for Jonathan Grant. Jonathan Grant, they had the majority of the yellow cards, three to Mona's one. No red cards, all the players remain at the park. Seven offsides, four to Mona. They had 12 corners, Jonathan Grant only had one. And Sheldon York had to make seven saves, Akeem Bernard only making one. 75% of the possession with six goals. Mona beating Jonathan Grant 6-1. We go now to Janae, who has the player of the match, the man of the match from Sportsmax. Congratulations. You are the Digis well, Sportsmax man of the match, Romarion Thomas. Romarion Mona High scored 10 goals, well, 10-1 on aggregate. Assess your performance today. Well, it was a very great performance. And first and foremost, I want to thank my family, my coaches, and my school, and my teammates. Well, in the quarterfinals, you may play either Kingston Technical or Stats. How ready do you think Mona is for those opponents? Very ready. We are prepared for it. Well, I saw a lot of students come out today to support Mona. How important is it for the, well, the support of the school for you and your performance? Well, it was a very great one. The builder are confident. I will come out victorious. Well, congratulations and enjoy your Man of the Match trophy. Thank you. Now we welcome the coach of Jonathan Grant High.